Hello and welcome to this video on optimizing meshes using vertex colors in Blender. This is the little model we're going to optimize. As you can see it has a fairly detailed texture and we would want to render this model without the need of a texture because from this distance well we really can't see any difference between the texture and just some vertex colors. Uh, we go to the Simplicon menu, click Add Load Component, Advanced, Remeshing. Uh, then, uh, per default, we get some uh, casters here. We are going to remove them. Instead, we're going to add an Advanced Vertex Color Caster. And uh, we will leave this as it is. Uh, we can also specify remeshing settings for the geometry uh, quality but we can leave this as is for now. Let's process the asset. And here is our output. Uh, what we need to do is that uh, in order for these to look the same, we need to set the metallic and roughness on our new material. And uh, done. Up close, we can uh, very easily see a difference uh, between the models. Uh, in particular, if we look on the underside here, we can see that this one has uh, these dark spots and this just has plain colors. If we look at it from the intended viewing distance, it is much trickier to see the difference between the two models. Uh, we did a remeshing so uh, we can see that the wireframe is simpler. Uh, we can see this very clearly on these handles. It is possible to save other information than just color data in vertex colors. If we look at this Canon asset, then we can uh, look at the metallic map of it and see that it is just black and white and it's not it's quite um, uh, useless to have a texture that just has this data in it. Uh, normally we would solve this by packing the texture into another texture, uh, but I want to showcase that we can also bake this data into vertex colors. Uh, for this one we are going to use reduction because this will give us an asset that actually works closer to the camera. So we go for a basic reduction with material baking. Uh, we can keep uh, reduction ratio at uh, 0 0.5. Uh, then for color casters, we get one for base color, one for metallic, and one for roughness, and one for normal. Uh, we are going to remove um, the caster for metallic, and instead add a vertex color caster and specify that the material channel we want to bake is metallic. Then we process. After process we get a little strange looking asset back and the reason for that is that we need to set up the material. Uh, so if we go to shading then we can see that the reason why it looks strange is that our vertex color is mixed with the base color because that's the normal setup. Uh, instead we can just uh, output um, the vertex color to, to albedo and we can see that this is very similar to how uh, the metallic map with textures look like. Uh, so we are just gonna sneak that into uh, the metallic channel and use uh, base color to connect it to uh, base color. And here is our optimized Canon asset. Uh, it's a 50% reduction, so it has a little, um, a little less uh, dense wireframe than the original one. Uh, but otherwise, up close, it looks uh, really similar to the original one. 
So, uh, that is all for today. I hope that you've learned a new, neat little trick that you can use to optimize your model. If you want to know more about game optimization, uh, follow our YouTube channel. Thank you.